when uh, I, I heard this today as uh, we were listening to the deputants who came before us about smog days, was that the TTC is just as valuable to those who don't ride it as it is to those who do. And that is that it reduces congestion and it, re and it increases health and safety for the citizens and the visitors to Toronto. And, and that's, that's a given. And uh, I think that, that um, we have to go forward with that in mind, that it's a service that we can't do without. But upon reading this, uh, this uh, presentation today, I'm, I'm struck with the notion that our riders, our ridership deserve more and not less. They do their part and they do it admirably. No other, no other operation of this sort in the world uh, has to combat the challenges of underfunding from senior levels of government that we have to combat. And Madam Chair, you're an excellent chair. And I'm really glad that you're there. And none of the negative stuff that, that I'm going to say is, is um, directed at you. But you have to think that in, the, in the, um, the ramifications of what we heard today is that our riders bear the brunt, the economic brunt. This is not the case in any other municipality. This is not the case in any other country in the world uh, that over, well over two-thirds of uh, the money that we get is from the fare box. That's a unique situation. And it's a unique situation because of the lax attitude of, of uh, upper-level governments, if I can call them up, other orders of government, um, in this case the provincial and federal governments. So that said, our riders are already bearing the brunt. The last time the TTC experienced um, widespread general cuts was in the 90s, and we heard about that when um, our, our staff were telling us that it was a race to the bottom. We were cutting services, and, uh, and we were, in fact, contributing to the low ridership and the decreasing ridership. Now that we're going to be experiencing 15 million more pro projections, 15 million more riders next year, now's not the time to think about uh, cutting services. And I have to say that I've been complicit in doing the wrong thing here because last time the uh, fare rate was was before us, um, I, you know, a knee-jerk knee reaction was to say no. In retrospect and listening to the to chief, chief general manager, it would have been the wise thing to do. And it would have saved us from the cuts uh, that uh, my constituents are saying w was not very good for them, and you know the ones that I'm talking about. So we see that uh, we're barreling down the road, and we probably will see substantial fare hikes. And I can say that I will seriously consider them this time, as I never have before. Um, there are more riders, and the way that, that the chief general manager described it to us because there are more riders, because we're such an excellent service, it costs us more. Because we subsidize every rider um, on our system. That is something that the public, I don't believe, has understood thus far. What we're doing, however, with respect to wheel trends is uh, not palatable. I don't believe that looking at cuts like we are doing to a certain segment of the of the health community, for example, if you're if you need dialysis, and we're looking at dialysis patients and saying we might cut you out, and you will not be eligible for service anymore, that cuts to the heart of what we are supposed to do as a public service agency, and that's what we're supposed to provide public service to take a segment of the health community and say uh, we're looking at not giving you uh, status anymore. That just is abominable. And I understand why we're in these straits, and I don't blame anybody here. What I do blame people for is the essential service status. This is going to cost us, as I, has, as I have warned in the past, perhaps hundreds of millions of dollars more down the road. This is something that we were warned about. That, that unconscionable act of doing something that is against the very nature of public service, I think, um, warrants a second look, and it definitely is something that is going to cost us both monetarily and otherwise in the short term and in the long term. Doing something um, as we did without a sober second thought 
is what put us in this situation in the first place. Thank, Thank you, you, Madam Chair. Thank you very much.